You've had this car for now more than a month. I've driven it once, but I don't know how to start it. You just started it. I mean, I started it, but I don't know like, what is this? Why Normal is cars say drive, park, reverse. His is Strada, <laughs> Corsa. And Mia, I didn't know you knew Italian, Zane. I mean, it is an Italian car. Is there pasta right here? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh, do I? You're gonna press that to drive. <laughs> This is a freaking Batmobile! That did it? That's, yeah, that's drive, and this is reverse. <laughs> That, that is reverse. Be, I know, it looks like you're about to launch into space. <laughs> I feel like I'm at Dave and Buster's. It's like one of the arcade games. Okay, here we go. And we're moving. There you go. Alright guys, well, <clears throat> I gotta hold it. Carly and Aaron have a little sticky pad here that they can put their camera on. I need to get myself a little sticky pad. Where are we going to eat? Where would you like to eat? To be honest, yeah. Firehouse subs. <laughs> but see, I know you're gonna be like, something different. I'm the most difficult person when it comes to food. I always say, whatever you want to eat. And then somebody always picks something to eat and I go, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> something different, and I'm always like, damn it, see? Matt always also says, Zane, whatever makes you happy will do. Always makes me feel like, I'm like Why? Well, because I just want you to be in a good mood. Another thing, though, I'm so easygoing, if you hand me the phone on asking what to order, I'll hand it right back to you within less than 10 seconds. Ever... Zane will go, hmm. <laughs> Zane will spend longer on the app trying to pick out what food he wants than it would take for the food to get there. When we're at the restaurant, forget about it. I ask about 20 questions. I'm just so... Thorough. What's thorough? <laughs> My first question usually is, what's your favorite pasta? And they'll say their favorite pastas and I'll go, mm. <laughs> Maybe I don't want that, now that you've said it. But like, I've learned, try to order first before you, and yeah. then I get up immediately to go to the bathroom, because I'm like, I don't no, want to hear No, Matt gets order. like secondhand embarrassment by me. Like, I will just go, <sighs> I know, I'll be And it always, I, it always gets me. And they'll be like, Dane, you just, it, well, it's always an issue when you're ordering food. I'm and like, that's not an issue. I know, and then you want to confront me while the waiter is still standing there going, um, so what is your order. Just you're wasting this guy's time. <laughs> Give him the damn orders, eh? I get so flustered. I want to make sure I get the perfect food. You read and then he's like... <laughs> You read it like it's a damn Harry Potter book. Because <laughs> it is a Harry Potter book, like Cheesecake Factory. How do you work at Cheesecake Factory and like try to memorize that menu? I could go to Cheesecake Factory and like order something and if I was a waiter, I, oh, I, I want to drop off a roll of film. You know, I knew a girl in high school one time. She went and got her nails done. <laughs> Is this, is this normal? <laughs> she went and got a pedicure. You know how they give you those like lousy little flip flops? Well, she was like driving one time and then the flip flop folded out and it went under oh. the, the pedal and the gas and she went right into a restaurant. Oh my God, is she, was she okay? Yeah, she was okay. The glass of the restaurant wasn't okay. I'm so confused how that slipper got under the- I think it was just from a time where she would just leave her old pedicure flip flops uh -huh. on the ground and one just got up in there and then it just like, she couldn't hit the brake and it just kept going. Have you seen my sandal look today? <laughs> oh my god, wow, man. I know. It's bold. I look like a shoe beat. It fits you though. Ooh. If I saw that, I'd been like, that looks good. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Go get your roll of film. I'm gonna talk to you. Uh... Ooh, there's waters here. Are you really trying to do a flip <laughs> water bottle challenge? I... Oh! <laughs> Wait, let me try, let me try, let me try. Ready? And. I have another question I've been wanting to ask you. Did you want to ask me or ask the audience? No, I wanted to ask you, but okay. I think it would be funny to ask it in front of the audience. Oh, so no. Zane and I share a shower. Which loofah have you been using? Matt. I know which loofah's mine. I know which loofah's mine. My loofah is the light gray one. No, mine's been- Matt, no it's not! Mine is the light gray one, 100% mine's the light gray one. Since the day we moved in, yours has always been the bigger one. I, I, the, the light gray one is the bigger one. No, it's not. Yes, the, it the, is. The, the bigger one, the big black one. I went to CVS in bought that loofah. But dude, you can tell the small black one is newer than my old gray one. My old gray because one- Because I don't think you've ever have used that black one. Dude, I bought- uh, How do you put this in dry? I don't like when people use my loofah. You've been using no, my you've loofah. Been using, dude, I know which one's my loofah. It's like dark gray. Wait, mine's the light gray. Mine is the bigger one. Which is the darker gray one. Okay, we gotta, we gotta figure this, it out. I've been using the gray one since the day we had moved in, since the day I bought it. And then I went, like one time I was like, it seemed like my loofah had kind of moved around and I go, his always stays right there. And I went and touched it and it was just dry. We, well, well, we also get it clean sometimes, the bathroom, so they may have moved it. So you probably think it was used, but it wasn't. I think we're using our loofahs. I think you just got freaked out because they got moved. Mine's like the tighter, more compact one. Yes, yes, that's a newer one, that's yours. Mine is all loose. Thank God! <laughs> Why would I use your loofah? That's disgusting. You know, you have ADD. <laughs> and I was just, I mean, wouldn't have been that. You know what? I do like to use other people's <laughs> <laughs> Like when I run out of soap, I'll use yours. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm easy going on but, that. Like, loofah's just so great. It's like using someone's toothbrush. Right. How long have you been thinking about this? for the past two weeks. Oh God, Matt, how can he even be? I stopped using it. Go. You started using the other one. No, because it was still freaking me out. It's weird, you always think of stuff when you're in the shower, you immediately get out, you, gotta, you, forget, you forget about it. You see me, I would from the shower be like, Matt, have you been using my loofah? 
what? Like, I would just ask it from the shower. Because here's the thing, I don't like trying to be like a passive aggressive like roommate. I don't know what kind of mood you're gonna be and I don't wanna make it seem like I'm picking on something. You can use anything of mine. If you could literally go to my closet and wear something and I see you out in it, and I wouldn't even care. It's like just as long as you're reciprocative about it, you know what I mean? Reciprocative. <laughs> like keep that same energy, you know? It's yours is mine, and uh, speaking of that, <laughs> Thank you, baby. I saved that for valet. Oh, I got scammed by a valet guy at Benny Hunt. No, so, the only way you can get scammed by valet is that they take your car. So what happened was I get out, I hand him my key, and I hand him the money. And then he went and passed on the key to another guy. The guy then brings up the car, he tells me the money. And so I, and I go, did I just pay? But I was like, well, maybe I just wasn't thinking, or like maybe yeah. I didn't pay him. And then I, so I paid him again. And then I get in the car and I have no more cash. And I was like, I paid twice. Baby, he's just trying to get his tip. What he's trying to do, he's trying to invest. <laughs> And that leads to this segment. It's moving day, f***ers. Go! It's moving day, which means Zane's gonna pick up his camera again. We have a situation on our hands. What's the situation? I think only 40% of this house is in boxes right now. 100%. No, it's not. No. It is. Look around. Like, Look at this. This is not my s***. All this chocolate. This all my shit. I was here all day packing. Right here, that's my chocolate right here. That's like my extra stuff that are not in boxes. Everything Those else is in boxes. Whose headphones are vans? This is an empty box. Not mine. This is your oh, vacuum. Mike, Mike, Mike. You have my vacuum, right? Yeah. Hey, stop finger popping each other's assholes and get to cleaning. Go to your room. How am I gonna film and pack at the same time? Don't go and pack. I Let's am. go, baby. Oh my god. You see his room? Uh, come on. Come on. He's gonna hate this. Hey, hey, you're back here. I'm, oh I'm my god, they're gonna be in here. They're gonna be in here. On this episode of Hoarders. <laughs> they're gonna be here in an hour, getting... dude. They're not gonna take your shit. <laughs> they're gonna come and go. No, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna go, oh, we're gonna make a lot of money today. Dude, they're gonna charge us $4,000 today we're because they have to, to pick all this shit up. By the time we move in the house, it's gonna be 10 p.m. because of they all work, this shit. They work by hour, so they're literally gonna be like this. <laughs> Unpacking for you is gonna be miserable. Oh my god, look at this mess. It's just messy, dude. You have some stuff in the bathroom though. No, I don't. Baby, all my stuff is in a box. I'm gonna do my Not everything is going today. I'm gonna do my final goodbye. I just wanna say, Jason, thank you so much for letting me stay here. It's been it's been an absolute pleasure. I bought a house. We closed yesterday. So me and my best friends are moving into this beautiful house. I can't wait to show you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna show this video or not, but yeah. Look, I'm ready to go. Look, I got all my stuff in boxes. That stuff is all gonna be carried by hand. I want my computer in box because it will shatter and break, so. You know what else? I can't wait to hang this up right here. Look at this. Inspired by my gut. I don't know where this is gonna go. This is gonna be hung somewhere very nice. You know what? I don't think I've ever showed you guys this. Focus, Guys, after, what, five, six years of YouTube, I still don't know how to work my camera. Ah! Okay, look. You gotta hurry, you gotta hustle, f Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna help Todd clean because he was very irresponsible and he did not finish yet So I'm gonna help him clean. I'll keep y'all updated. This is vlog number one. This is the new Zane. Hey, new Zane All right, so we love TikTok. We love watching TikTok all day But there's one specific person that we all love so much and we quote all shit all the time And he's just one of our favorite TikTokers in the world. He's here right now. Drum roll, please Brrr. We got Rasa, baby yeah. <laughs> Finally you're here, bitch. You got a dollar? You're lying. Let me see. Do come here. You're gay. I you what? Me or her? If I give you like two bucks, you can take me to the fucking store. I need to buy a plan B. <laughs> So excited! I found out he was coming to LA. So we had to surprise everybody. Yeah. We thought it would be the best thing. He was nice enough to hide the fact that he was coming to LA. It was a big deal for him because <laughs> there's so many people out here to meet him. I'm sure. Right now we're at my house. We're gonna surprise Matt and Todd, and we're, we're just gonna surprise everybody. So let's just let's just get to it. You excited? Yes, I'm so. Because I'm excited. excited. <laughs> I'm <laughs> shaking too. Dude, I fucking yeah. knew it. I have somebody here that wants to uh, ask you a question. What? I heard last night you slept with a girl, and I heard you didn't wear a condom. We need one of our friends here to go to the store real quick. You think I'm gonna give you like two bucks to take me to? Come here. You're gay. No. Shut the. Oh. Finally, you're here, bitch. You got a dollar? No way. You're gonna take this <laughs> yeah, off? Got to... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I felt the same way. Oh my god! I was, I was shopping this morning and I was like watching TikTok and I saw that you had a huge meet and greet. I'm like, oh, they're so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I know. I know. This is happening. Well, wow. He's in town. Uh, like, why not let him join the vlog squad? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of all the quotes right now. I'm going blank. I thought, I thought you played it because it sounded perfect. <laughs> Obviously, it sounded like, like it was just like wait. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Zane. 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 Hi, Zane.
How you doing? He's here for a week, so you have all the time in the world to hang out. Oh my god, that's so cool. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff from me and all my friends. See, then I have a brand new podcast episode out. The audio version is available now on Spotify, and then we upload the video version tomorrow on youtube.com slash so make sure to subscribe to that. As always, I love you guys so much, and thank you so much for being patient with me. I know I don't upload a lot anymore, and I sound like a broken record. I hope you guys have a good day, and stay safe, baby.